Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to tell whether a number is odd or even in Microsoft Access using the mod operator. Today's question comes from Wishwanat. He asks, sir, how do you tell if a number is even or odd in Access? Now, this is something that I know I've covered in my lessons. I know I've covered it a couple times, but I can't find it. I went through all of my outlines. I, I did a search on my site. I know I've talked about it, but I haven't officially covered this in a lesson. So I figured since someone literally asked me today, this would make a perfect tech help video. Now, if you're familiar with Microsoft Excel, Excel has two functions, is even and is odd, and that makes finding even or odd numbers very easy. Unfortunately, Microsoft Access has no such functions. However, we can use the modulus operator to determine if a number is odd or even. MOD is modulus or modulo, and that's equal to the remainder after an integer division. Now, if I take 10 divided by three with integer division, that's why my slash is a backward slash and not a normal forward slash that you usually see with regular division. This indicates integer division. So if you have floating point numbers like doubles, like 5.2, that doesn't work with this. All right, but 10 divided by three gives you three, right? Three times three is nine. So you have one left over. So that one is your modulus. 10 mod three equals one. It's the remainder from the integer division. So 10 divided by two with integer division is five with a zero remainder. Therefore, 10 mod two equals zero. And that zero is how you tell the number is even. And yes, it works for negative numbers too, and zero is an even number. So how do we use this inside of Microsoft Access? Well, let's say we got a list here of numbers, maybe our customer IDs, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. What if I want to determine if or not that customer ID is even? All right, let's use a query. Now you can use the mod operator in either a query or a form or a report or your VB code, wherever you want to put it. So let's create a query. Query design right there. Bring in your customer T. Bring in whatever number you want to check, customer ID, for example. Now, if I put down here another value, let's call it X, right? And that'll be customer ID mod two. Okay, run the query and there you'll see all of the modulus results from that equation. So you can see all of the even numbers have a zero remainder. Now, if you wanna call that is even or is odd, just come over here. We'll say is odd, right? So we'll say is odd colon, right? Customer ID mod two, like that. See that? is odd will be either true or false. Is even would just be the reverse of that. If you want to display the word even or odd, you could do something like this. You could use an if function, immediate if. You could say even or odd like this. If customer ID mod two equals zero, then it's an even number, right? put even inside of quotes or put odd. If you don't know how to use the immediate if function, IIF, I've got other videos on that. They're free, you can check them out. I'll put a link below. And now if I run that, you can see there's even or odd. And that in a nutshell is how you tell whether a number is even or odd. Want to learn more? There's an extended cut members only edition that goes into more detail about even or odd. First, I will show you how to replicate that is even and is odd functions that Microsoft Excel has. Then you can use is even and is odd in all of your forms, reports, and queries. And using that information, I will show you how to print alternate page footers in your reports. So if you duplex print a lot of reports and you wanna have the page numbers go odd and even differently, like Microsoft Word does, you can add that to your Microsoft Access reports as well. So the odd numbers show up on the bottom right of the page and the even numbers on the bottom left. How do you become a member? Well, just click on that join button on my YouTube channel. 
you'll see a list of membership options, silver members and up, get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos. But thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and these free tech help videos will keep coming. I'm not going to get rid of them anytime soon. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Subscribing is free and you'll be able to get notifications every time I post a new video. Also, make sure to check out the forum on my website, 599cd.com slash access forum. If you've got questions you'd like to see answered, send them to me on my tech help page. There's all my good stuff, my blog, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, of course. If you haven't checked it out yet, watch my free access level one course. It's three hours long. It's the full tutorial. You can watch it for free on my website or on YouTube. And if you like it, level two, which is another whole hour long lesson, is only $1. Do me a favor, take my course survey. Let me know what you thought. I know this is a free YouTube video, but I still like getting comments from people like you. Let me know exactly what you thought about my class. And once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.